There's a common misconception that good financial advice is all about recommending the right products. Of course, that's part of it, but there's far more to it than that. Here's Andy Agathangelou from the pro-consumer pressure group, the Transparency Task Force. The value that can be provided by good, sound, objective, unbiased advice is absolutely enormous. So I personally think that what matters far more than the small, pretty insignificant differences between product X or product Y is the type of solution and strategy somebody's going for. And that is very often driven by the quality of the relationship they have with the people giving them that advice in the first place. So in very simplistic terms, I guess I'm saying, don't fret too much about whether to use a blue screwdriver or a red one. Uh, just figure out that actually you don't need a screwdriver at all. What you should be picking up is a hammer or a spanner. You, you get my message. As well as financial advice, what most people need is a financial plan. Without knowing what your goals are or having a plan to achieve them, you can come badly unstuck. I've been a big fan of financial planning since I was first introduced to it in the early 90s. I had the pleasure and privilege of working for some excellent financial planning organisations in years gone by. And I personally think there's a significant difference between proper, true, holistic financial planning, which takes into account the client first and foremost, as opposed to the client's money first and foremost. What people ought to look out for is an advisor that will be advising them as a person with their financial interests coming in tow after that, as opposed to simply looking at things in a balance sheet way. What do we do with this money here? What do we do with that money there? As with any profession, some financial advisors are much better than others. It's vital, says Andy Agathangelou, to research your options carefully. Look for people who are well qualified, who have a demonstrable track record of looking after their clients and just shop around, hunt around, look for people who have the ability to prove that they have consistently cared for their clients. The client needs to take a bit of responsibility in making sure that they do their homework, that they do their research, because there are some absolutely stunningly good advisors out there who can make a massive difference to the quality of their life, both financially and otherwise, in years to come. In short, don't focus on financial products when choosing an advisor. Focus instead on finding someone you can really trust and who you're comfortable working with for a very long time.